So there have been a multitude of audio leaks this week surrounding Florentino Perez of Real Madrid. Some of them funny, some of them worrying, I guess you could say, and some of them eye-opening. It's Friday. I'm on semi-vacation, so I figured we'd do something fun today. Look at some of the quotes from Florentino in case you missed them. I'm Adrian, by the way. Welcome to the garden. Guys, editor Adrian here. One thing that um, Adrian forgot to say during this intro is that we now have a TikTok. Yes, we have a TikTok account, channel. What is it? I was going to call it a channel, but regardless, we have one of those. Right now, the the first couple videos are basically going to be adaptations of the last two uploads that we've done just in a shorter form and more snappy maybe a little more humor added to it but in the future this will be a place where i do you know quick little updates or topics that aren't necessarily worthy of doing an entire video on but something that is worth explaining in about a minute or two so that will be the home for that so i've linked to that below do go and follow us on tiktok if you have it Beginning on Monday, July 12th, Spanish news outlet El Confidencial released some audio clips and published quotes from conversations with Florentino Perez back in 2012, some from 2006. All of these combos took place about a decade or more ago. In reaction to some of the quotes, which we will get to later in the video, Perez released a statement via Real Madrid's website saying that he will take legal action against the journalists who he alleges, keyword alleges, recorded the conversations and then sold them to El Confidencial. Jose Antonio Abayan, as well as legal action against El Confidencial themselves. He said, quote, The quotes published are from conversations secretly recorded by the journalist Jose Antonio Abayan, who has been trying without success to sell them for years. It is surprising now, despite the time which has passed, that they have been picked up today by the newspaper El Confidencial. They are isolated phrases taken out of the wide context in which they were spoken. He also went on to allude that this was just a personal attack aimed at him to further punish Perez for his role in spearheading the ESL. Whether it was or it wasn't, it's plenty of bad press for the man who is establishing himself as football's greatest supervillain. But uh, I will say, I'm sure that these sort of comments are made all the time behind closed doors by people in Perez's position. By managers, presidents, etc. As for the man who Perez has accused of selling the tapes to El Confidencial, Jose Antonio Abayan, he has vehemently denied it, using some colorful language along the way. Here are a few notes from his statement. Quote, I would like to sit down with Florentino for him to tell me face to face that I tried to sell the tapes. This is a lie, and if Perez has any balls, he should prove that I did. I haven't lied once in my professional career, and nobody can claim otherwise. I haven't got the faintest idea how El Confidencial got hold of the tapes, although I can picture various possibilities or scenarios. Florentino, I would like you to invite me to wherever you want, wherever you want, along with all your sucking friends in the media like Tomas Roncero, Ciro Lopez, and Iñaki Cano. You can ask me questions, I can ask you questions, and we can get to the bottom of this. Florentino knows that he will never report me. Abayan also spoke of some other things that are directly related to one of the leaks that came out yesterday afternoon, that Perez has guys like Antonio Garcia Ferreras in his pocket, the man behind the channel La Sexta, and anyone who says anything that goes against Perez will be in trouble. That's sort of what he was alluding to. These quotes from Abayan came out 24 hours prior to the Perez leaks regarding his intentions to set up a Real Madrid-centric television show. In fact, let's talk about that leak now so it all makes sense. On July 15th, a leak came out in which Florentino Perez was quoted talking about how he was going to ensure that an old Spanish public TV program, El Rondo, would disappear and would be replaced with something that was more Real Madrid-centric with his buddy Ferreras. Antonio Garcia Ferreras, who previously worked for Real Madrid's PR team and was the head of Real Madrid TV, left to become the president of the channel La Sexta. Related or not, you be the judge, but in 2014, La Sexta began broadcasting El Chiringuito, hosted by none other than the hand-wringing Josep Pedrerol, (laughs) and has had accusations of being a mouthpiece for Perez and Real Madrid. As of yet, El Chiringuito hasn't commented on any of the leaks, stating that they see it as in poor taste to speak of leaks. But some have pointed out that they had no issues in speaking about Lionel Messi's leaked contract from last summer. But that aside, let's get to some of the more fun leaks from the last week of Perez leaks. Plenty of quotes surrounding two absolute icons of the club, Raul and Casillas came to the floor this week. Some of them had actually been published before in the past, but there were a couple of freshies as well. Again, keep in mind that Perez says these comments were taken out of context, but I mean, I 
I don't know, it's hard to see what sort of context would change the meaning of some of these quotes, you know? First, we had a big one with Perez speaking about both Raul and Casillas in 2006, in which he said, quote, Casillas is not a Real Madrid standard goalkeeper. What can I say? He's not and never has been. He has been a big failure of ours. The problem is people adore him, love him, talk to him, they defend him so much. He is one of the biggest frauds and the other is Raul. The two biggest Real Madrid frauds are first Raul and second Casillas. Wow. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, big flow. I mean, that's insane. To call Raul, who will go on to break Alfredo De Stefano's scoring record, later beaten by Ronaldo, of course, uh, Raul, the guy who would leave the club in 2010, to label him a fraud? I don't know, man. Maybe some further context is needed, because I'm not seeing any other meaning here. As for Casillas, he was always considered to be one of the best keepers of his generation. The adoration for him by the Real Madrid faithful was warranted, in my opinion, and in the opinion of many, actually, including UEFA, who had him in their team of the season for six consecutive seasons from 2007 to 2012. I mean, that's not bad for a fraud. Raul returned to Real Madrid in 2018, by the way, as he started coaching in their academy, Real Madrid Castilla, but Perez had more to say about Casillas as well. This time, not speaking about his ability as a player, but more so his character or his professional commitment. Again from 2006, when Perez was actually on his way out of Real Madrid's office for three years until he was re-elected, he had this to say, quote, you could see the other keeper was better than Casillas. You can tell when things aren't going so well with his girlfriend as well. He's absent mentally. He's like a child. He's like a lapdog, a puppet, something childlike. People think I don't like him, but the thing is, I believe if he'd committed himself more, he'd be the number one, because despite being a bit short, he has some exceptional qualities. Casillas is a short king, man. Lay off him. And finally, let's finish up with some kind words from Perez to both José Mourinho and Ronaldo, as well as former coach and Spanish legend, really, Vicente Del Bosque. First, regarding Del Bosque, who managed Real Madrid from 99 to 2003, he said, quote, He doesn't know how to coach, nor does he know about tactics. He's a fool. No one offers Vicente Del Bosque work because they all know he's not a coach. The Del Bosque stuff is the biggest lie I've seen in my life. They say he'll take over the national team. That's just what they need. Del Bosque, you know? That last sentence I'm pretty sure was made sarcastically, but it turns out he was just what the Spanish national team needed after Aragones. Under Del Bosque, Spain won their first World Cup and defended their European Championship title. Not bad. And now to the lambasting of the Portuguese contingent who were at Real Madrid in 2012, and these comments come from a conversation that Perez had in 2012. Let's just get into it, as these ones won't require any explaining whatsoever. Quote, Ronaldo was crazy. The guy is an idiot. He's sick. You think this guy is normal, but he's not. If he was, he wouldn't do all the things he does. The last stupid thing which everyone in the world saw. Why do you think he'd do something so stupid? So I did some digging as to what Perez could be talking about in this context, in which, I mean, I think he's talking about how Ronaldo is unruly in interviews and doesn't censor himself, etc. And given that this recording was from October of 2012, that was a month after Ronaldo did his infamous interview in which he said, quote, I might be a bit sad, which is why I didn't celebrate the goals. It's not a personal thing, but a professional thing. People at the club already know what I'm talking about. This is one of a few times in which Ronaldo said he wasn't happy or didn't feel supported and then later got a new contract at Real Madrid. I would assume this is what Perez was talking about and was unhappy about as someone who, you know, has to sign off on these increases in wages. I'm sure he'd be unhappy with that. So let's go further. Quote, George Mendes has no control over Ronaldo and it's the same with Mourinho. None at all. Even for interviews, they don't listen to him. These are two guys with terrible egos, spoilt to the pair of them, who don't see the reality because they could both earn a lot more money if things were different. They are both abnormal because we're talking about a lot of money in terms of image rights. And with that face they have, that challenging glare, the fact that no one likes them, if the publicity was different, everything changes. <laughs> I mean, he may be right, who knows? Without the publicity and the media train behind both Ronaldo and Mourinho, perhaps their attitudes would be seen very differently. But anyways, Perez also spoke of Pepe's transfer from FC Porto to Real Madrid in 2007 and alluded to some fishy business between the Porto president, Georges Mendes, and the Swiss banks. Nothing too surprising there given the individuals involved who have had some other allegations thrown their way in the past as well. Do -do 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 -do. Update. We have an update from this <laughs> Florentino Perez 
drunk dad at the at the dinner table storytelling scenario. <laughs> it has come out that he said that Luis Figo is a son of a bitch. He fucked up the dressing room together with Raul. So, <laughs> I mean, he he had smoke for everybody. He definitely had smoke for everybody back in the day. And another one. This one's a little more not safe for work. A little more adult. Um, I'll I'll link to it, of course, but I I won't read it all out. He's basically talking about what Mourinho said to Ozil about his new Italian girlfriend, because Mourinho was growing tired of Ozil constantly flying his private jet to Italy to go see his Italian girlfriend. So, yeah, it's it's it hasn't stopped. It's going on all week. El Confidencial clearly has a lot to pull from. But anyways, guys, that will do it. That wraps up the Perez leaks thus far, at least. I hope that you enjoyed this as it's a nice, lighthearted video to take in before we tackle some serious topics. The publishing will slow down for sure next week as I am going to take some time off and really get rested up for all of the preseason shenanigans that are on their way. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and have a great day, guys. Ciao.